I hear that call this January 6, 2016, organization meeting of the Committee to Water. Mrs. Johnson, here. Mr. Caffrey, here. Mr. Mancuso, here. Adequate notice of this meeting has been made in the North Island, the office of the Township Square. The seed named Bishop Oates, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints, James Street, Mars Township, will lead us in prayer. All the Chabos, please come forward. Thank you. All things rise. <laughs> Let us pray. Our gracious Heavenly Father, we bow our heads humbly at this time and acknowledge our many blessings. We are thankful, Father, for the opportunity that we have to live in this free country and to recognize those who have sacrificed life and property to give us the way of life that we have. We are thankful for the Constitution that thou has given to us, that we may be able to live in a free country. We ask, Father, that thou would bless the armed forces, particularly those who are away from home, who protect us in our way of life. Bless the leaders of our country that they may be wise and just. Bless each of us that we may unite to serve our fellow man, especially those who are poor of body, mind, and spirit. And Father, bless those who are with us tonight, those elected officials, that they may that they may exercise their obligations and their duties in a wise and a prudent manner. And these things we say humbly, in the name of our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 family has a long history of service here in the township and Matt being a former prosecutor we know that he brings the right stuff to the township to get things done and to do things right so uh, it's my honor hey, you know let's face it Matt the last prosecutor that left the prosecutor's office and ran for a public office is now running around the Hampshire. <laughs> <laughs> you never know where you're gonna end up <laughs> <laughs> Do you, Matt D. Nunn, solemnly swear that you will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey and will bear true faith and allegiance to the same and to the governments established in the United States and in this state under the authority of the people, so help you God? I do. You will repeat after me. I, state your name. I, Matthew Nunn. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully. That I will faithfully. Impartially. Impartially. And justly perform. And justly perform. All the duties. All the duties. Of the position of. Of the position of. Township committee member. Township committee member. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations.
um, it's especially special for me uh, to swear Bruce in, uh, being the relationship that, that we've had for a long time. Uh, Bruce and I ran together for the first time back in 2009. And the one thing that I took away from that point to today is that Bruce is all about Morris Township. I mean, he wears a township on his sleeve. And it's not a day that goes by that he's not somehow thinking about what he can do to make the township better. And that's something special in an elected official. And Bruce, I'm honored that you were re-elected and I'm honored to swear you went tonight. To you, Bruce D. Sisler, solemnly swear that you will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey and will bear true faith and allegiance to the same and to the governments established in the United States and in this state under the authority of the people, so help you God. I do. You will repeat after me. I, state your name. I, Bruce D. Sisler. Do solemnly swear. I solemnly swear. That I will faithfully. I will faithfully. Impartially. Impartially. And justly perform. And justly perform. All the duties. All the duties. Of the position of. Of the position of. Township committee member. Township committee member. According to the best of my ability. According to the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. You solemnly swear that you will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey, and that you will bear true faith and allegiance to the same and to the governments established in this state and the United States pursuant to the authority of the people to help you God. I do. I do this part a little differently. Do you further swear that you will faithfully, justly, and impartially perform all the duties of mayor of the Township of Morris to the best of your ability to help your God? I do. Congratulations. Thank you. At this point, I want to uh, open the nominations for Deputy Mayor. Mr. Mayor, I'd like to nominate Peter Mancuso for Deputy Mayor. Right here. Um, second? I'd like, I'd, like to I'd like to second that, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Um, at this point, um, are there any further nominations for Deputy Mayor? I move the nominations be closed. Right here, second? Second. second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Congratulations. What? All 
vote. I did it all. All in favor? Aye. Okay. You did it by Meryl Edicton. That's right. Short sentence. 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 Short I solemnly swear that you will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of the State of New Jersey, and that you will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, and the governments established in this state and the United States, pursuant to the authority of the people, so help you God. I do. You further solemnly swear that you will faithfully, justly, and impartially perform all the duties of office of Deputy Mayor of the Township of Mars to the best of your ability, so help you God. First of all, good evening and happy new year to, uh, to all. A um, couple of thanks and I want to recognize some, some folks here. Uh, first, uh, to start off the evening, I'd like to start uh, to thank longtime friend Bart Oates um, for delivering um, the invocation. Bart and I go back a long way and he uh, is truly a good friend. Thank you. You're welcome. Also for Father Shemek, who will be uh, also uh, participating in delivering in the benediction. Um, I'd like to thank and recognize some of the special guests who have um, come here this evening. I'm going to go through it and uh, get some help here. This is in no particular order. <laughs> um, first of all, Senator Anthony Bucco. <laughs> Assembly, Anthony Bucco. Uh, we have former mayors here from Mars Township, Rick Watson, <laughs> Kathleen Highland, uh, from Mars Town, um, Councilwoman Allison Deeb, <laughs> former Mayor Jay Delaney. Uh, from the County College of Morris, uh, President Dr. Edward Young. Yeah. Mayor of Florham Park, Mark Taylor. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Mark and I went through 6th, uh, 7th, and 8th grade together. Um, what's that? <laughs> Uh, Mayor Frank Drexler, Morris Plants. Yeah, yeah. Um, Morris Plains um, Committeeman, Councilman uh, Jason Carr. <laughs> Councilwoman Sue McCluskey. Uh, Freeholders, uh, Doug Cabana. <laughs> Newly sworn in, and congratulations, Christine Myers. And freeholder um, Tom Strangelo. Uh, representing uh, Michael Carroll tonight, his chief of staff, Jason Lamarca. Uh, fire, former fire chief, Tony Romano and Craig Goss. <laughs> Sheriff Ed Rochford. Former Morris Township Committeeman, Jeff Grazel. And uh, our representative from the Southeast uh, Water Authority, uh, Schumacher, Alan Johnson. Uh, 
again, I'd like to um, to thank my uh, compatriots on the dais for again putting their faith and trust into me. Um, we do make a great team. I have to say the commitment of this team up here on this dais to the residents of the township is truly incredible. Congratulations again to uh, Bruce Sisler, Matt Nunn, on uh, your re-election, and uh, welcome back, and uh, welcome, uh, welcoming back and rejoining us here on the dance. Lastly, I'd like to thank my family for putting up with the time away, for the times it seems like my cell phone is duct taped to the side of my head. <laughs> when I was putting together my remarks last night, my wife had said to me, remember, less is more. Yeah, right. Um, so let's uh, let's talk about 2015 a little bit, and we'll talk about some of our goals and highlights for 2016. 2015, Morris Township celebrated its 275th anniversary. We also helped the Seeing Eye, internationally known, celebrate their 50th anniversary, being headquartered here, right here in Morris Township. Planning board approval of the Rockefeller redevelopment on the Honeywell property and GDP, GDP plans have been presented, construction about to commence, and a full build out, we will see a municipal rateable increase in Morris Township, just in the township alone, of a, just shy of $600,000. Phase two of the automated trash collections rolled out, and with the manpower efficiencies, I'm sure you've all experienced in, increased road overlay projects, such as Fairchild Avenue and Springbrook Road, to name a few, in addition, a much more storm drain repair than we normally would have been able to do. Grand opening of Ginty Pool with incredible success. Much thanks to Bill Falsch and our Parks and Rec Department for just a tremendous job, not to mention a huge grand opening celebration. Um, the completion of our property reevaluation uh, was is now done. We will now put all properties on the same playing field. It will also, also dramatically slow the property tax appeals that will be filed here in Morris Township. I said this last year, but it bears repeating. Over the last five years, Morris Township has bared the brunt of nearly $7 million in tax appeals, primarily on the commercial side. Remember, for every tax dollar that we collect, we keep only 25 cents. The other 75 cents goes to the schools and to the county. <laughs> Yet when we refund an appeal, Morris Township comes up with a full dollar. Hardly doesn't seem fair, but it is what it is. So $7 million over five years on an annual $34 million budget is no small feat. Thanks to everyone again on this team mm -hmm. and um, to having the foresight um, years ago to start to squirrel away money we're able to do this and keep our annual increases far below the 2% cap imposed by Governor Christie. When I say far below, I mean hundreds of thousands of dollars a year below every year. 2015, we saw a municipal tax increase of just under $5 a month per average assessed value of $400,000. The Daily Record has commended this town and this team on having one of the lowest property tax rates in Morris County for four, four full service communities. Strong, fiscal, prudent leadership has been fruitful for Morris Township in the past. In fact, and thanks to the team staying intact, it will continue into 2016 and beyond. 2016, phase three of the trash collection will be done. The automated trash collection. Uh, we're not gonna only experience, obviously, the manpower efficiencies that I spoke about, but also a reduction in our workers' comp insurance premiums. Groundbreaking at the Rockefeller former Honeywell property. The mixed use development of that property will be financially beneficial for Morris Township. Not to mention, it really is the best use of that property. Grand opening of Streeter Pool. By all accounts, will be much of the show place as, uh, as Ginty was. The kicking grand opening party. So if you miss Ginty, don't miss Streeter. We recently received some cautious optimism on Cornine Field from the New Jersey State DEP. Um, I say cautious optimism. Uh, as you may know, we were set to construct a turf field there with lights. And uh, long story short, we were ready to go, funding in place. And during testing, we discovered uh, methane gas about 15 feet below the surface. 
Uh, long story short, the New Jersey State Department uh, of the DEP just gave us some positive news on two tests that need to be done. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we will move in the right direction there in 2016 and uh, hopefully be able to move forward there. But once again, cautious optimism. Our 2016 budget is well underway. All of the township committee has begun working in their subcommittees on the individual department budgets. That will roll up to the master budget. We view this process here and the members of this day as, as the most important thing we do. We take watching over your checkbooks very seriously. We live in a community rich in amenities. Thousands of kids participate in recreational sports programs here in town. Whether it's Washington Valley and its history, Convent Station, west side of town, east side of town, Morris Township is truly the jewel of Morris County. It is the prudent fiscal conservative leadership of this team that has molded our community. Our team is a cross-section of the residents of this community. Of the five members here, we have a member in their 30s, we have one in their 40s, we have one in their 50s, we have one in their 60s, and one in their 70s. All right, everybody's okay. Who's trying to figure out who's in the Who could it be? We represent all 24,000 residents of this community. And we, we truly are a cross-section of the community, if you think about it. We take into account and govern by what is best for all. We listen and are very responsive to all residents. And if you've heard some naysayers out there, you would think that this community has nothing to offer, that we don't re represent all the residents. But we all know better. The suggestions for change they bring, trivial, and it will cost you more money. It is for the work of this team and its solid conservative predecessors, a few that are here this evening, that have molded this town. It is this team, along with the hundreds of volunteers, of which we're going to hear a lot of names of shortly, on various boards that have made Morris Township that jewel. Speaking of team, so you all know Tom Coughlin stepped down Monday as coach of the Giants. For those of you who know me, I'm a hapless Jets fan. Sorry, Mark. <laughs> But Tom Coughlin, who I highly admire, spoke some very inspiring words on Monday that I'd like to quote. In professional football, the goal is to win, Coughlin said. We all know that. We understand that completely. But my contention is there's a higher ground. There's a greater purpose. The purpose is team. It is the team concept. Winning, losing, playing hard, playing well, doing it for each other. Winning the right way is very, very important. That's what motivates and inspires us. Championships are won by teams who love and respect one another, who play for and support one another. As the senior member of this committee, hard to believe, no, I'm, I'm not the one in the 70s, I don't, I don't mean that my senior. Um, this team and its members inspire me every day. They truly do. We inspire each other. We have tremendous respect for one another. We support one another, and in turn, much like Tom Coughlin's Giants, we achieve greater results as a team than as individuals. I want to thank the residents of Morris Township for keeping this team together. We are a better community for it. May God bless each and every one of you, and may God bless America. You. This time, um, before we move into the resolutions, uh, we're going to bear and kind of veer off the normal agenda for our reorder. <laughs> and I'm going to invite some folks up uh, because we do have a, a special presentation that we'd like to do. So I'm going to invite the rec subcommittee, myself and Louise, up. Also, um, Bill Falsh, Sue Young, and uh, our special guest, Mr. Ted Lockman. So for those of you who don't know Ted, 
And I bet you there's not, there's virtually nobody in this room who probably doesn't know Ted. Um, Ted has been a staple in our community, uh, volunteering countless hours on um, a number of committees, including environmental, community development, revenue sharing, Morris Wildlife Management, um, for over 50 years, right? Over 50 years. I was in kindergarten. So you were thinking about who was the one that Ah, okay. Um, he, um, I've happened to, um, and we all have um, had um, the opportunity and pleasure to, um, to, to be with him and serve with him. Um, and he is very passionate about this town and, um, and, and all that we do here. So we, last month, we, uh, we want to present this resolution to him um, for his years of service. He is uh, stepping down from a lot of the boards at this point. Um, I'm not sure why, because you're a nice spry 93? 92, okay. Um, so, and what Ted doesn't know about tonight, um, and his family doesn't know, uh, Ted has been talking about um, having a community garden in Morris Township for years. And recently we, we acquired some open space and are in the process of uh, building that community garden. And the five members on this board unanimously have decided uh, and want to uh, prominently name that community garden after you. Tell. I know you never lost for words. You know, <laughs> I'm here by mistake. <laughs> Moved into township over 50 years ago, and uh, the first wash that my wife did, it was brown water. I called the town, whoever answered the, the phone said, come to the environmental meeting tomorrow night. <laughs> I went to the environmental meeting, there was a blue haze there, and I think Kathleen's mother was there, and Colonel Speeder, the Speeder Pools, was a member of the commission. They had one opening, and when I was complaining about the water, they said, you're on the commission. <laughs> That's why I'm here by mistake, but I'm happy that I'm here and standing, and we got a, a great group here. I walked in the uh, small room there where the Environmental Commission was meeting. There was a blue haze. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody was smoking, including your mother. <laughs> but uh, now we have no smoking here. And it, Firemen are happy about that. <laughs> so we got a good government and a good township. I don't see too many for sale signs. I think we're doing a good job here. Yeah. All right, um, 2016 standing committees, appointments and authorizations, uh, Mr. Mills. Uh, yes, Mayor, would you call for a uh, motion and a second regarding resolution 1-16? Sure. For the standing committees and then vote? Sure. Can we hear a uh, so motion? Mr. Mayor. Second? Second. second. Local? One. Yes. Mr. Johnson. Yes. 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 Here, uh, I have in my hand resolution 2-16 concerning a number of appointments since our custom and practice to read those names. I'll do so as uh, efficiently as possible. To the Board of Adjustment, 
Paul Woodford and Paul Stout, Environmental Commission <laughs> Susan Young, and Rowan Kahim Wright, the Planning Board, Peter Mancuso, Louise Johnson, Jesse Carr, Andrew Romano, and the Murphy, Andreas Benvenuto, Tom Goldberg, the Open Space, Daniel Caffrey, Andreas Benvenuto, Michael Scheip, the Economic Development Advisory Committee, Kathleen Iron, Susan Young, Dr. Nicole Saffer, Suzanne Kale Benedetto, Paul Stout, Ed Burwell, Bruce Sisler, for the Board of Health, Matthew Nunn, Bruce Sisler, Nicholas Bertha, Bonita Sue Piler, to the Parks and Recreation Advisory Committee, Daniel Caffrey, Louise Johnson, William Bulls, Betty Mainly Stanley, Barbara Burns, Mike Bolonsky, Peter Hagen Jr., Edward Thornton, Richard Watson, the Joint Free Public Library of Morristown, Morris Township, Daniel Caffrey, David Batten, Donald Kyle, the Morris Township Historic Preservation Commission, Carol Barkin, Sarah Harris, Susan Young, Board of Ethics, Peter D. Manahan, Louisa Clinic, Lisa Clinic, the Sanitary Sewer Advisory Committee, Daniel Caffrey, Bruce Sisler, for the Housing Advisory Council, John Flanagan, Holmes Venture, for the Americans with Disabilities Act Compliance, William Smith, Dawn Parco, Gina Antons, Nicholas Uricoli, Timothy Quinn, the Whitney River Watershed Action Committee, Daniel Caffrey, Alan Johnson, Community Development Revenue Sharing Committee, Timothy Quinn, Virginia Merck, Morris Township, Morris Township Municipal Alliance, Daniel Caffrey, Peter Mancuso, Maureen Byrne, Barbara Miller, Patrick Tierney, Dr. Nicole Safri, Gina Anton, Mike, Michael Martinez, John McGinnis, <coughs> the Supplemental Fire Services Program, Jesse Carr, Supplemental Safe Nova Neighborhood, John McGinnis, <coughs> Public Agency Compliance, Timothy Quinn, page three, the Beautification Committee, Bruce Sisler, Thomas Eshman, Sophia Bacchus, Jane Byron, Mark Maureen Carlin, Clint Costanzo, Lori Flitcroft, Ann Garris, Suzanne Cal Benedetto, Theoban Kirk, Ellen Taylor, Rosemary Mano, <coughs> for the Morris Wildlife Management Committee, Daniel Caffrey, John McGinnis, Thomas Humbert, Stephen Summerer, the Swim Pool Advisory Committee, Colleen Moran, Sharon Panko, Jean Biago, Maura Braun, Richard Watson, for the Trails Committee, Daniel Caffrey, William Fulsh, David Helmer, Ken Kelly, Rick Hahn, Ellen English, James Hunt, Paul Kiesek, Michael Say, Michael Scheidt, the Southeast Morris County Municipal Utilities Authority, Dennis Paul Vasari, the Lackawanna Coalition, Matthew Byrne, the Supplemental Fire Services Program Committee, Jesse Carr, the Supplemental Safe Neighborhood Program, John McGinnis. And that would conclude the reading. A motion and a second would be in order to move. <coughs> move the appointments, Mr. Mayor. Did you hear a second? Second. Any call in favor? Oh, aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Okay. Um, Next resolution, Mr. Uh, Mills. 316, uh, our police department resolution regarding the appointment of police matrons, Patty Romano, Lisa P. Toronto, and uh, school crossing guard, Mindy Park. Do I hear a that one? resolution? Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Aye. Aye. Uh, Aye. You may want to do the next one on the fire. Uh, okay. Do you want to, uh, should we call the fire subcommittee and then uh, Yes, if you want to. Sure. sure. If the uh, fire subcommittee can kind of step forward for the badges along with fire chief, Chino you know, by Jessica Green. If you'd like, and then you can elaborate. Sure. Okay. It'll take just a minute. Go ahead. Mount Kemble, Captain is Eric Meyer, First Lieutenant John Romano. Hillside, Captain David Schuster, First Lieutenant Matthew Murphy, Second Lieutenant Edward Zinkraff. Fairchild, Captain James Coryell, First Lieutenant William Brady, Second Lieutenant Robert Duffy. Woodland Captain Darnell Richardson, First Lieutenant Nick Dimrogakis, Second Lieutenant Peter Segal. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Along with Fire Chief Jesse Carr and Deputy Fire Chief uh, Mr. Michael Nunn. Welcome everyone to the township. I'd like to congratulate Mayor Caffrey on his reappointment and Matt Nunn and Bruce Sisler on their re-election to the committee. Um, tonight we have uh, First Lieutenant John Romano. First Lieutenant from Fairchild, Bill Brady. Again, thank you.
thank you for uh, having us tonight. Thank you, sir. Resolution 5-16, Office of Emergency Management. Mayor, I think we can actually do uh, resolutions 516-616, which is uh, the Council of Professionals. 717, general resolutions of uh, appointments of both prosecutor, myself, and uh, okay. Mr. Uh, the Council of Meeting Dates of 816. Mr. Mills, yes, sir. I don't think we voted on resolution 4-16. Well, that's a good point. We did not. Thank you. Do I hear a res uh, motion for uh, resolution 4-16? I move the resolution, Mr. Mayor. Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Right, and continuing, this one will require a local vote because among the resolutions we have the uh, right bank deposit uh, signatories, the uh, interest rate of 818 on delinquent taxes, the budget of 26.25% of the prior appropriations, and the cash management plan. So if someone would offer 516 through, through 1216, that can be handled at one time. Do I hear a motion um, on resolutions 516 through 1216? I would offer that, Mr. Mayor. Do you hear a second? Second. And that's a roll call. Mrs. Johnson. Yes. Mr. Sisler. Yes. Mr. Dunn. Yes. Mr. Pearson. Yes. Mayor Cuthbert. Yes. All right, we've come to the point of the meeting where uh, uh, members of the Township Committee with comments um, kind of lead us off. Um, Ms. Johnson. Okay. Good evening, everyone, and Happy New Year. I won't repeat all the congratulations that have already been uttered, and uh, everyone of my colleagues knows what's in my heart. I couldn't be happier with the leadership you provide, and I have the utmost confidence in it's going to be a great year working all together with you. It's lovely to see all of you here tonight. And I'd like to start my remarks with a quote by El Pacino from the movie Scarface. And you may think, oh gosh, where is she going with this? I am. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. This is my checkbook. And like you, in about three weeks, I'll be paying my uh, quarterly property taxes. Would I rather be spending the money on a cruise to Bermuda with a dream package? Yes. But would I rather be living anywhere else or compromise the quality of life we enjoy, enjoy here in Morris Township? Heck no. Even our most vocal opponents were recently quoted as saying the township is well run, services are great, and our tax rates are among the lowest in the area. Life is good here. So why not just put our feet up and have it be the status quo. That's what governments do, right? Nothing could be further from the truth. You see, the status quo is not a sustainable target. I don't think it's even a target at all. But if it is, it's a moving target. And I wish we could say that Morris Township is the master of its own destiny. It's not. We are part of a complex context with changes constantly coming at us from the state and county governments, from neighboring municipalities, <laughs> from the business community, from acts of God, and God forbid, acts of terrorism. There are many challenges to maintaining excellence in daily operations and services. Let me emphasize that these daily challenges faced by our fire department, our police department, and our critical utilities are real and not to be underestimated. But what distinguishes good government from great government is the ability to anticipate and address complex changes, changes that could impact our community personally for years to come. Maintaining the status quo is about playing checkers. Great government is about playing chess, always looking three, four, or five years down the road. They say no one likes change but a wet baby. But some changes hold great promise. Assemblyman uh, Anthony Bucco, I'm not sure if he's still <laughs> with us in the room, oh, that's too bad, recently sent out an excellent newsletter about the 100 bills before the New Jersey State Legislature for property tax relief. We could all benefit greatly from these. Let's keep our fingers crossed that some of these, these grow through. This would be a wonderful change for everyone. 
Some changes are to protect us from troubled times, such as those involving Homeland Security, as outlined by Freeholder Doug Cabana and Freeholder Director Kathy DiFilippo at their January 3rd reorganization meeting. I'm not sure if Doug is still here either. Oh, giving all these people plugs and they took off. <laughs> Some changes are just plain confusing, like the recent elimination of the Council on Affordable Housing, known as Co-op. What does this mean to us in terms of possible new construction of low-income housing? We don't know. Mr. Quinn, Mr. Mills, our department heads, our engineers, our board members, and our auditors, to name a few, are masters of the chess game that anticipates change, jumps on good opportunities, and fends off threats to our beloved community. I'm delighted to be serving on our planning board and finance committee this year with Mr. Mancuso. These are two of the places where the impact of change gets baked into our plans and budgets. To summarize, smart, frugal, Forward-looking township employees and our professional partners are the reason the town is so well run. If we think it's expensive, consider the alternatives. So when I write my property tax check on February 1st, I do so knowing the Bermuda vacation can wait, but great government can't. Again, Happy New Year and God bless you all. Thank you. Mr. Nutt. Brevity is a concept that's lost on attorneys. I know there's some attorneys in the room. We tend to be long-winded. Uh, I won't be this evening. I want to thank everyone for coming. Uh, I think there are a few dignitaries left uh, here, maybe somewhere out there. Um, and most, most of all, I want to thank anyone who has volunteered to serve on a committee, a board, uh, like Mr. Lardman, if he's still around here. Uh, that, that should be a source of inspiration to all of us uh, who volunteer our time. I want to thank my family and friends and those of you here who helped with the campaign for Bruce and I this year. Um, I, I think it's safe to say now this evening that the election's over and <laughs> the results are in. Um, a little humor. Um, I'll, I'll end with this. I want, to, I want to give everyone a reminder. Uh, although we don't have the authority to appoint Supreme Court justices, and, uh, we're not going to do anything about Obamacare. We don't have the authority to do that. We don't decide whether the federal government enforces immigration policy. Those aren't things that we do. Uh, we do, regardless of where you stand on any of those issues, um, all of us, individually and together, labor over how to address issues that do affect you day to day, like police, fire, uh, DPW, recreation. Um, so when you get caught up watching <laughs> CNN, MSNBC, Fox, you think that we're going to do something about those issues that are discussed about on those channels. We don't, because we're doing the really important stuff that affects you every single day. So thank you all for coming. Uh, have a happy new year. I'm, I'm really uh, humbled to be able to serve all of you for the next three years. Mr. Sisler. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Happy New Year to, uh, to you all. I'd like to congratulate my letting me, my colleague, Mr. Nunn, on his well-deserved uh, election day victory. And I'd also like to thank the voters of Morris Township uh, that believed that historically strong, fiscally conservative government was worth continuing. My father gave me some terrific advice in 2009 when I first got elected. It was the day after election day, and he asked me, so, son, what are you going to do now? And Political Science 101 says, well, when you get elected, your first priority is to get reelected. <laughs> so that's what I told him. And his response was a resounding, wrong. <laughs> <laughs> he said, son, your first job is not to get reelected, but rather do what is right for all the residents of Morris Township, regardless of the political consequences. It was invaluable advice, and I've worked very hard to abide by it. In 1847, a congressman by the name of Abraham Lincoln said, if there is anything that links the human to the divine, it is the courage to stand by a principle when everyone else rejects it. Well, I've worked very hard to take a principle approach, yet practical approach, and have a strong belief in the long line of tradition in Morris Township's 276-year-old government. In the aftermath of our revaluation last year, this budget cycle is not only important, but it's critical to the future of our seniors, 
our families and our singles. We saw more than a third of our friends' properties increase in value, but that means that their tax rates are gonna increase. Because of that increase, this body must work even harder to control taxes this year. I will be looking, and I know my colleagues will, look to, for ways to cut the budget in order to ensure our residents do not have an undue burden on their pocketbook. But let me make this crystal clear. I will not vote for any budget this year that increases your taxes. I grew up a block away from my grandparents and have wonderful memories of Morris Township. Now my children are growing up a block away from their grandparents. And why do I say this and why do we do this? It's because the history of fiscally conservative decisions made by Mars Township Committee men and women. You see, when taxes are raised, they very rarely, if ever, get lowered. Keeping Mars Township affordable is what I have focused my attention on as a committee man for the last six years. I'll treat your tax dollars like I treat my dollars at home and my budget. And this is why we continue to have a AAA bond rating in Mars Township, which allows us to borrow at the lowest possible interest rate, and at the same time, lock in that rate for 20 years to come. It's why 2013 and 2014, we had a 0% tax increase. And why we've been cited by the Daily Record as having the lowest tax rate in Mars County. <coughs> I've spent countless hours working for you to make sure your taxes are kept in check. I've read, debated, and thought about you and your tax dollars for the last six years because whether you're a senior citizen, a young family, or a single person, Keeping Morris Township affordable is my number one priority. Additionally, we must continue to utilize the Morris Township Economic Development Advisory Committee. We must use it effectively and seek growth opportunities in our business community. For when vacant commercial properties become populated, that's good for the residents of Morris Township because commercial property taxes helps to offset residential taxes. The EDAC will continue its work to retain and attract large, medium, and small businesses in 2016 to help all of Morris Township's residents. Freeholder Christine Myers said on Sunday at the Morris County Reorganization meeting, quote, without growth, we put an undue burden on our taxpayers. But with growth, we can achieve a strategic plan. We can invest in ourselves, and we can invest in this unique place. And let me tell you, she was spot on. Friends, we are in a very unique place in our history. We can choose to make the tough and maybe unpopular decisions now to preserve the future of Morris Township. Or we can choose the politi politically expedient way, the path to re-election. I will he heed Congressman Lincoln's words and the advice from my father, no matter what the political consequences are for me in the future. My belief has never wavered. Morris Township is the best place to live and raise a family, and I intend to keep it that way. Happy New Year to all of you again. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Mr. Matthews. Thank you very much, Mr. Mayor. I'm sorry that Bart Oates left as a true Giant fan. I thought he might be going over they might be having tryouts tonight if he gains about 20 or 30 more pounds. <laughs> I thank you, my fellow committee men, for the honor of uh, electing me as deputy mayor for the year of 2016. We look for substantive growth and innovation under Mayor Caffrey's leadership for the second year. High praise to our newest committee people, <clears throat> Louise Johnson and Matt Nunn, and congratulations on your election victory, sir. Both of these people, <coughs> brand new, have become seasoned professionals and mighty contributors in a very incredible and short period of time. Congratulations to former Mayor Bruce Sisk for his election, victory and for the great job he's doing with the EDAC committee in trying to draw business into Morris Township and also for chairing the 275th birthday celebration of Morris Township. I was gonna bring up the point of 30, 40, 50, 60, and 70, but um, the mayor, has the right to say that first. I'm sorry. But I did ask permission of the people if it was okay to use those uh, numbers. <laughs> I hope that before I finish my designated time, that we'll have the ability to recognize our religious holidays 
with their appropriate designations like Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, and Happy Kwanzaa, yes. and not the saccharine Happy Holidays. We also need to have the ability to exhibit openly the solemnity of these days on our property with appropriate religious depictions. If you saw the paper today in Haddonfield, New Jersey, children, when they say the Pledge of Allegiance, say God bless America, and a group is suing them to prohibit them from saying God bless America. All I can say is where have we gone and what are we thinking when we allow that to happen? We'll do everything in our power to keep Morris Township as a family-oriented community and we'll do everything under the law to be sure that it always remains that way. Our credo is transparency, lucidity, openness, and the continuation and maintenance of the most well-run town in Morris County and possibly all of New Jersey. This under the leadership and guidance of our outstanding administrator, <coughs> Tim Quinn, and the incredible staff he has assisting him. Finally, thank you to our township employees for the great job they do every day, mostly under the radar. We are blessed to have them all. And to all of you, the best that life has to offer as we live in this greatest of all countries. God bless Morris Township and God bless America. Thank you all. Um, I really don't have anything. I, a couple of just very quick things. Um, I know Peter just mentioned it. Um, uh, you know, thanking our township employees. I also want to include our department heads, especially the ones that are here tonight. Um, who kind of both come out. Um, volunteers on the various boards who've come out tonight and are here. Not only do you volunteer your time and 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 doing work that is really good for Morris Township, but you. Uh, You've come here on, on, a, uh, on a cold evening in January, and we appreciate the dedication uh, that you put forth in our community. Um, lastly, and what was you know, somewhat touched on um, by Mr. Mancuso that I want to follow up on, you know, 2016 in Mars Township, we've got a lot of great uh, challenges and great things coming your way. But 2016 is a very important year. It's an election year, presidential election year. And um, it is important that everyone, and you tell your family, friends, and neighbors that they get out and they vote. We just came off one of the lowest turnout election years in, um, in the history of New Jersey. Um, 18, Bruce, what, 18, 19 percent? Yeah. 18, 19 percent of registered voters came to the polls and voted. It's embarrassing. It really is. We have a presidential election this year. As we all know, there are some, um, some freedoms that are really pushing up against us. And we need to, as Americans, get out there and we need to vote for whatever the candidate of your choice is, but you need to vote. And you need to tell everyone that they need to get out and vote. It's a very, very important year. It's a very, very important presidential year. Um, thank you. At this point, I'd like to uh, call up from the Assumption Church of the Blessed Virgin Mary, uh, Father Shemek, along with uh, Reverend Eden Edward Seaton Fitton from uh, St. Mary's Abbey, uh, to uh, say a couple of prayers and a uh, benediction. Father Shemek. I am in my, I am in my 20s. Oh, <laughs> you're in your 20s. That's right. <laughs> don't, don't judge book after the cover. <laughs> Thank you so much. Father, you want to use your microphone? I came to the United States because it's a country of opportunities. I just want to let you know. Uh, I came to 2010 and I saw the United States a country of opportunities for me. And it is. It is it's a great gift. And um, Mayor, I'm doing it because you asked. Uh, Mayor asked me to tell you. When I came to 2010, I was overwhelmed with the freedom. As a young man, I was 22. I was overwhelmed with the freedom. I could have been lost, but I wasn't. Because you keep your priorities straight, and you are faithful to service. And if you do that, you can see this in St. Bernardino. You can see this 9-11. When you are faithful to your service, whatever God calls you to do, you will make it. And that's what God is calling all of us to do that. 
So I thank you, and I think you are very unique because these people trust you, and we trust you. So I just want to pray for these people and also invite you to pray with me. Good and gracious God, we ask you, bless all of these people here who through your Son gave us a marvelous example of charity and the great commandment of love for one another. Send down your blessing on this your servant, Mayor Daniel Caffrey, Deputy Mayor Peter Moscuso, Bruce's sister, Matthew Nunn, who so generously devoured themselves to helping others in Morris Township. We ask you, may they be full of your grace and strength, and when they are called on in times of need, let them faithfully serve you in their neighbor. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We are doubly blessed tonight, because you've got two of us. <laughs> I've lived in the township for almost 30 years, and I haven't lived anywhere else as long. And I love it here, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let us pray. By the way, I'm in my 50s. <laughs> <laughs> You're keeping track. <laughs> I think I know who all I mean, that right, right down. <laughs> Let us pray. Lord of justice, peace, and goodness, we gather tonight to ask your blessing on the members of the Mars Township Committee, especially those who this evening took the oath of office. We ask your blessing on all who serve the common good for the people of Mars Township. We ask you, Lord, to give your servants an understanding mind to govern your people, able to discern between good and evil, right and wrong, justice and peace and security, we ask your blessings, Lord, on all who govern us and order our days aright. This committee, judges, our governor, legislators, all who serve in public office, those in who wear the uniform, and children. And so we invoke the blessing of Aaron. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Father. <coughs> uh, just prior to asking for a motion of, of adjournment, I just want to remind everyone, uh, if you please could join us, uh, if you can, in the back uh, for some light refreshments in the back room. Um, it would be terrific. Uh, at this point, do I hear a motion for adjournment? So move into there. Second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Adjourned. Thank you, everyone. Happy New Year.